Oh, let's talk about some games. It's called the light switch. I'm sticking with it. I'm not changing it. But what games best utilize this new revision of the Nintendo Switch? That's what we're going to talk about for this video. You just got your Nintendo Switch light, or you're thinking about getting the light, and you don't know what games to get? I got you covered. So, for this video, we're going to talk about the five best games for the Nintendo Switch Lite. Not the five best games on the Switch, because one of my favorite games, Splatoon 2. But, in my opinion, Splatoon 2 is best played docked on the screen. And you can't dock the light switch, I'm just saying. For example, another example, perfect game. This is probably the best game on the Nintendo Switch, but in my opinion, to fully enjoy Breath of the Wild, you gotta dock it. All right, so without further ado, here are the games that I feel best utilize the Switch Lite. Starting with this bad boy right here, <coughs> Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the perfect racing handheld game. You can race a couple laps, turn off your light, you'll be good to go. And the light, according to, I believe I read it on polygon.com, it still has gyro controls. And so even though it doesn't have HD rumble, you can't detach the Joy-Cons, it still has gyro controls. That is a control option in Mario Kart. So, there you go. Mario Kart 8 would be a perfect addition to your Switch Lite library. It has online a full-fledged, just fun, fun, fun kart. Still, in my opinion, the king of kart racing. I played Crash Team Racing and Mario Kart still has the crown, like you just saw, King Boo. All right, the next game that is a must-have game for your Switch Lite, Cuphead Boy. Actually, this game probably would be better. One of the few games that would probably be better on the Switch Lite than your current Switch. And there's one big reason why. What in the world is this Nintendo? Nintendo, y'all trademark the D-pad. You don't believe me? Hold on. Nintendo. This is y'all! This is y'all baby! You gave her this abomination. Come on, Nintendo! And so, the Switch Lite has a built-in D-pad. Cuphead is a 2D platformer and best played, in my opinion, with a D-pad. And <coughs> just the aesthetics, the graphics of the game, gonna look beautiful on that 5.5 inch screen cuphead is another must-have game for your light switch boy that's right i'm sticking with it light switch fire all right next game must have now at the making of this video fire emblem three houses haven't even been released yet but based on the gameplay, the design, the art style, everything about this game, this is going to be a perfect fit for the Switch Lite. Why? This is a tactical strategy battle game. Meaning, you can do one or two maps, turn off your light, 
go on the go, yada yada. And um, it seems like it's gonna have touchscreen. I'm not 100% sure, but if it has touchscreen, perfect for playing in handheld mode. Um, the art style in the game is gonna look beautiful on the light. Fire Emblem Three Houses. It seems like now this is one of the games that hasn't been released yet but based on the gameplay this is a more um, laid back not fast um, it's still gonna be intense making those decisions but a laid back game a perfect game to play in handheld mode in my opinion fire emblem three houses can't wait till this game launches I'm gonna be picking it up on my OG switch so here's what it is bro. all right the next game Pokemon, let's go Pikachu and Eve. Nintendo got me. They got me with their Pokeballs. Oh, hold on. Can't swing those in my face. But I did not like playing this game in dot mode. I did not like throwing the Pokeballs trying to catch the Pokemon. I kept missing. And you know what I did? I played it in handheld mode. All you have to do <coughs> is push A. It's so much easier to catch Pokemon in handheld mode than it is in dot mode. And so this is a game that's actually better played, in my opinion, based on my experience in handheld mode. And guess what? The Switch Lite is the perfect handheld device. Pokemon Let's Go, easy peasy, no brainer. You should pick it up on your Switch Lite and get that Pokemon Sword and Shield that's coming out soon anyway. And the last but not least game. It seems like this game was made with the Switch Lite in mind. Super Mario Maker 2. Everything about this game screams Switch Lite. First, it's easier to create stages using um, in handheld mode, uh, where you could actually just touch, um, if, even if you get a stylus, where you can just touch, drag, and drop. So much easier to play this game in handheld mode. Switch Lite is going to be the ultimate handheld machine. And for 2D platformers, the D-pad. Not four buttons. But the D-pad for Super Mario Maker is the way to go. When I play the game in dock mode, I use my Pro Controller's D-pad. But again... One big area the Switch Lite has on the current Switch model is the built-in D-pad. And Super Mario Maker 2 runs better, in my opinion, utilizing the D-pad, built-in D-pad, so it's a no-brainer. This is probably the best game for, if you wanted to get a launch, launch game for your Lite, Super Mario Maker 2 would be that game. And so, dudes, again, these are my five picks for games you must, the best games to have for the Switch Lite. Now, there are many other games that I didn't cover in this video, but I narrowed it down to five. You might be scratching your head. What game should I pick up with my shiny new Nintendo system? There you go. Your boy got you covered. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about these games? Are you picking up a Switch Lite? Sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know, but before you go, brah, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date, all things Nintendo. We out, buddy. Oh, we have no Reggie, please, the man. Fire Emblem is that.